Hi there, my name is Aaron Lanterman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech. Most of the videos on this channel involve analog electronics, but today I would like to explore artificial intelligence. Patrick Winston had a long career at MIT as an expert in artificial intelligence. Lectures from one of his offerings of 6034 Artificial Intelligence are available through OpenCourseWare. I was watching his introductory lecture, and this example caught my attention. Imagine running down the street with a full bucket of water. What happens? Well, your leg gets wet. The water sloshes out. You'll never find that fact anywhere on the web. You've probably never been told that that's what happens when you run down the street with a full bucket of water. But you easily imagine this, this scenario and you know what's going to happen through this internal imagination simulation. We're never going to understand human intelligence until we can understand that. That example is from 12 years before ChatGPT launched. So I wondered, what would ChatGPT do with it? I'm going to phrase the prompt exactly the way Professor Winston did. Imagine running down the street with a full bucket of water. What happens? If you are running down the street with a bucket full of water, the water inside the bucket will slosh around due to the sudden movements and changes in direction. The water will exert a force on the sides of the bucket, causing it to sway from side to side. If you are running too fast or making sudden movements, the water can spill out of the bucket due to the inertia of the water. Inertia is the property of matter that makes it resist changes in motion, so the water will tend to keep moving in a straight line, even if the bucket changes direction suddenly. If you are able to maintain a steady pace and keep the bucket stable, the water will continue to slosh around inside the bucket, but it will not spill out. The force on your hand holding the bucket will counteract the force of the water sloshing around, and the two forces will balance each other out. So, I thought that was a pretty impressive answer, but it didn't say anything about your legs getting wet. So let's help it out. Let's ask, what happens to your legs if you run down the street with a full bucket of water? Okay, let's see. Your legs will experience increased strain and stress due to the added weight of the water. This can lead to a number of potential outcomes. We have increased muscle activation, changes in gait, risk of injury, and water spillage. Ah, here we go. Depending on how well you're able to balance the bucket, there's a chance that some of the water may spill out as you run. This can create a slip hazard for yourself and others around you. Overall, running with a full bucket of water is not recommended. <laughs> if you need to transport water over a distance, it is better to use a container with wheels or ask for assistance from someone else. Why, thank you for the advice, ChatGPT. Okay, so we now know that our legs will get worn out, but it hasn't mentioned anything yet about our legs getting wet. So let's specifically ask it, what happens to your clothes if you run down the street with a full bucket of water? Ah, here we go. If you run down the street with a full bucket of water, the water in the bucket will likely splash out and wet your clothes, as well as any other objects or people in the immediate vicinity. We have a detailed list of the various factors that may play into how wet your clothes become. And ChatGPT suggests that it's also possible that the force of the water may cause buttons or other fastenings on your clothes to come loose or break. I think that's a little far-fetched, but it is interesting. At this point, I recalled Patrick Winston saying this. You'll never find that fact anywhere on the web. You've probably never been told that that's what happens when you run down the street with a full bucket of water. So let's test that hypothesis and ask Google the same question. Imagine running down the street with a full bucket of water. What happens? Okay, so apparently that's on Quora. What would happen if you ran down the street with a bucket of water? Let's see. Alexander L. suggests that some water might spill out. Your arm might get tired. You could trip and fall. You could accidentally drop the bucket. Let's see, eventually I'd run into a car or person, I'd fall over and get run over and drop the bucket. All right. People would ask you, where's the fire? Let's see, here's a serious answer. If you've ever tried running with a bucket of water, you'll know that the jolting movement of the running tends to animate the water, et cetera, et cetera. 
I'll tell you what would happen is you would end up with a trail of water on the ground and also probably wet shoes and legs. Of course, it depends on how much water is in the bucket. So I'm wondering if the set of questions and answers from Quora is part of the corpus that's used to create the large language model in ChatGPT? I don't know. This is such an odd question. It feels like somebody from the MIT artificial intelligence class specifically asked this question on Quora just so answers to it would appear on the internet. But that's just a theory. As impressive as large language models like ChatGPT are, there's something about them that's ultimately unsatisfying from the standpoint of seeking artificial intelligence, in that the computer really has no idea what any of these words mean. It really just knows that certain combinations of words tend to go with other combinations of words. So if the Bing chatbot is acting unhinged, it probably has some unhinged human source material in its corpus. Professor Winston followed up his bucket of water example with this. Here's another example. Imagine running down the street with a full bucket of nickels. What happens? You're, you're going, you know, nickels weigh a lot. You're going to be bent over. You're going to stagger. You know that. But nobody ever told you that. You won't find it anywhere on the web. Okay, so let's change water to nickels and see what happens. Okay, this is interesting. It notes that it would be noisy and it would affect your balance because the bucket is heavy. And this is really interesting. ChatGPT thought to contrast this situation with the bucket of water example. And once again, let's double check this part. You won't find it anywhere on the web. Hey Google, imagine running down the street with a full bucket of nickels. What happens? Oh, the first hit is a transcript from that lecture. That's really interesting. I wonder if this lecture itself is part of the corpus used by ChatGPT. Interesting. And let's see, I poked around a little bit and I found this transcript that's in a more readable format because it doesn't have all the timestamps in it. So maybe this is in the ChatGPT corpus. I don't know. I also remember Patrick Winston being in the audience of some of Marvin Minsky's Society of Mind lectures, and he brought up the bucket example there. So this example is probably fairly well known among artificial intelligence researchers, and it wouldn't surprise me if Quora and the transcript of these lectures wasn't in the corpus, but maybe the chat GPT folks specifically crafted some material from that particular example to put in the corpus. Or maybe none of this is inherently in the corpus and chat GPT is just super smart and able to put these responses together from other sources. If you have any insight as to how ChatGPT is actually solving the bucket of water and bucket of nickels problems, let me know in the comments below.